Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Well, uh, kind of unexpected, but um, today I'm actually going to um, help install um, an upgraded solar system for my father's um, ranch house, and my mother's ranch house. Uh, so I'm actually going home, I'm gonna go and give them one of my uh, midnight solar charge controllers. Um, that way we can, you know, get everything hooked up and everything's gonna work properly. Uh, he went and purchased 10 brand new golf cart batteries. Um, that was his decision. Uh, so I'm going to start hooking up the wiring. I got to start cutting wiring, um, making all the connections, get all the batteries wired up. And then once the batteries is wired up, I can go ahead and install the charge controller for them. And then I can go ahead and um, install disconnect switches um, between the solar panels and the um, charge controller and a disconnect switch between the charge controller and the batteries and a disconnect between um, the batteries and the um, inverter uh, and then also a disconnect between the wind turbine and the batteries itself uh, so yeah that's what we're doing today guys so I'm going to, going home to pick up that I'll go, go ahead and give you guys more footage as things go on um, I almost forgot to start recording because I already started doing some of the work right but um it's never too late to um, start capturing the, the progress here. So anyway, guys, I'll give you guys more footage as it comes along. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Well, it's in the afternoon. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe 3 o'clock by now. I wanted to show you guys my dad's new setup that I set up for him. Um, 10 brand new 6-volt um, golf cart batteries. They're wired in series and parallel in order to give us a 12 volt battery bank. So you guys can see that we have our jumpers in the middle. Jumper, 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 jumper. And then we have all our positives running direct in line and all our negatives direct in line. Um, I had to make all new terminal connections and wiring and all that so everything is all, all brand new. As you guys can see we have the temperature sensor in between the batteries here right in the middle of the battery bank. Um, we over here we have the this is the midnight solar charge controller that I gave them uh, so I got that online today uh, the Sun like I said is it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon so we're not getting direct sunlight anymore because here is his panels so I rewired all his panels so now the um, panels are all wired in high voltage uh, so you guys can see that right there we have 151.7 volts coming in um, 244 watts going to the batteries at 18.7 amps and battery voltage is currently 13 volts uh, so this took me pretty much um, from I don't know 8.30 or 9 o'clock this morning until about 2.30 uh, so we just flipped it on it's only been on for maybe not even 30 minutes with the solar uh, so I went ahead and um, hooked up some disconnect switches here so we have solar disconnect inverter disconnect and battery disconnect uh, that way we can safely shut things down um, maybe in the future um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some um, DC breakers for them um, we can also put those in line um, that way if there's ever a surge or some problem you know it'll pop the breaker uh, and then you know we're, we're safe right so I'm gonna add that down the road but for today you know we're okay right now for today um, inverter is on so this is the inverter I gave them I don't know probably about a year ago now um, and the house is up and running everything's doing good so now all the old this is all the old stuff here um, we're gonna go ahead and just tear all this out this whole board gone that stuff gone all that extra wiring gone because uh, we got everything wired up really good now so yeah took a while guys to make all this work uh, I didn't have any shrink wrap, so what I did was I used electrical tape and wound this really tight a couple, you know, a couple times at least on every terminal here uh, to make it look as best as possible. Uh, we also have a ground wire connected to the in the charge controller here, so the green is ground. Uh, then we got our um, basically the way it works, guys. All the negatives, so the negative from um, the battery to here is a straight line technically. And then the negative from the inverter is basically a sh straight line as well. Um, but we put the disconnects and we put always put the breakers in between 
the positive lines, right? So when we have like the positive line coming from the battery going to like the charge controller, for an example, we have the, um, you know, the disconnect so we can disconnect from, you know, whatever we need to do here just in case. Um, the last thing that we still have to do is finish um, um, repairing his wind turbine. So that's going to be a future video. I think the bridge rectifier up in the um, wind turbine finally went out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and replace that. And then I'm also going to add one more disconnect switch up here for the wind turbine. Um, and then that way we can shut off the wind turbine if we're working on it or something's going wrong or whatever. You know, It's always nice just to have something that you can manually shut everything off. Uh, so this was my project for today guys um, helping my father out this was kind of unplanned I just decided to come up here and um, see because he told me he bought 10 brand new batteries and I said well let's just go ahead and um, hook it all up and be done right <laughs> um, originally he was going to use the um, old battery wires that he had on his old old batteries but the terminals were cor corroded and they were kind of really small wires uh, so I just basically upgraded everything for him all brand new everything everything's nice and tight everything's nice and clean I wiped down all the batteries um, I also set up the charge controller um, to you know to charge correctly um, and I should you know point out this is of course a 12 volt battery bank um, I try to talk my father into going to 24 or 48 but he doesn't want to do it so um, he likes the 12 volt, so we're going to stick with 12 volt. Um, of course, sticking with 12 volt does has its limitations um, because um, even if you wire all the panels up, I mean, you know, you're limited, right, to how much amperage and stuff like that. And the max on these um, charge controllers is 80, yeah, 81 amps coming in at 12 volt. So, yeah, um, he's pretty happy. I pretty much did everything for him. He just kind of lended a hand here and there if I needed something, you know, him to hold something. He hold it, held it there and I just basically took control and connected everything up. So yeah, it'll be nice to get rid of this old board and all this old stuff and all these old wires and make everything look a little bit more neat in here. But other than that, guys, I think it's a pretty decent installation um, considering I, you know, I sponsored them on everything except for the batteries he purchased himself. But I bought all the, you know, wiring, all the connectors, the charge controller for him. Um, all the disconnect switches you see there, that inverter. Um, so I'm pretty much, you know, um, tapped out as far as how much I'm willing to spend already. <laughs> I'm done spending money. So if he wants to add the um, the DC disconnect, I'm sorry, the DC breakers, um, I'll have him purchase those and we can add those in. Um, but I mean, as you guys know, this is what about $800 at least, right? That's another say two, three hundred dollars there, um, just in terminal connections here. Um, to fit these wires, I had, uh, let's see, that's 10, 20, 30, that's 40 to 50 dollars just in these terminal connections, and then the wiring, you know, all that stuff, so it all adds up, guys, definitely, um, but I'm just happy I'm able to help my, um, my mother and my father out, um, and getting them back up and running, and being a little bit more safe about things, you know, so um, he's really, really happy, and my mom's really happy, so that's the main thing, guys, so we only have some small improvements we have to do, put the DC disconnect, I mean, the DC breakers in line, um, fix up his wind turbine, get that wired in, and that's pretty much it. Um, he's pretty much ready to go. Um, one thing I did notice on the new golf cart batteries that Costco is selling, so I'll show you guys right here, um, 210. The old, the older ones that they used to sell was 220 amp hours each, so it went down 10 amp hours, but that's okay. So that gives them a roughly um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's 1,000 amp hours. So and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's 1,050 amp hour battery bank you guys are looking at here um, with 10 batteries. Um, give or take some on, on efficiency and stuff like that. So. Last overview for now, guys. Sorry I wasn't able to record everything guys, I was just really busy making all the cuts and connections and crimps and you know it was just, it was hectic. I just wanted to get them back up and running. Um, so that's the case. So anyway guys, the sun is slowly going, going down over here. Uh, it's time to call it a day. My back's a little sore from bending over from um, making all these connections and all that stuff. So uh, I just want to go home and take a shower and relax guys. So anyway, good news, he's up and running, everything's new and um, yeah. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys hit the like button. If you guys have a comment, leave a comment. If you guys are not subscribed, subscribe. And um, I'll definitely see you guys tomorrow.